we host two different camps. One that focus on high school teen camps. We call it the BJ Hills Teen Camp, and it's a combination of freshmen, JV, and varsity teams. And this year we had over 140 of them come out, and there's 900 kids that stay on campus. We also have an individual camp. We do a shooting camp, and we do a three-day skills camp where that ranges mostly from eight to 12 year olds. We do have some 13, 14 year olds that show up and that's where our guys really get involved with the players. We get a lot of the kids from around the community to come in and get to interact with a lot of our guys, get to get in our gym, um, get to get in our arena and just have a lot of fun. All the teammates on uh, UNC, we, uh, we had our own teams and we were uh, a little competitive with it. We also got to ref, so that was really fun and just really enjoyed the environment. I have a main man with me. Stephen, say hello. Oh yeah, we're out here playing ball, getting better. Skills camp, 101. It's face the nation with Coach Hill. Those certain campers that, that win like a free throw contest or hot shot, they get to come up and, and throw a pie in Coach Hill's face. So, you know, that's, all, that's our players' favorites. I think that's my favorite too. My favorite part, um, one of them was Coach Hill and he got pie in the face. My favorite part of the camp was probably Coach Hill getting pie in the face. Just seeing the kids and how, how, how much fun they had with that. The number one thing we hope to accomplish is you know community relations. They come to basketball games, they know who our guys are, and really getting that interaction with our players and the communities.